Hello everyone. I am Rahul Ahuja and I will be presenting my team's work on Optflow, where we present a fast optimization based self supervised scene flow estimation method. To begin with, let's answer the question what is scene flow? Scene flow refers to the 3D motion fields of points in a scene, capturing how each point moves from one frame to another, similar to how optical flow works in 2D. The landscape of scene flow estimation is largely segmented into three categories. Supervised learning based algorithms. These, like FlowNet 3D, rely on point cloud encoders like PointNet to regress flow vectors. However, their need for extensive annotated data makes them impractical for real world applications, especially in driving data sets where such data is scarce and cost free. Self supervised learning based methods which is our domain of interest. These methods use losses such as the nearest neighbor loss and cycle consistency loss during training. Their advantage, they bypass the need for labeled data. The downside, they're computationally intensive. On the other hand, optimization based methods are non-learning based approaches that don't rely on training data and perform flow optimization during inference. They're highly accurate, but suffer from long inference times. For instance, this graph from a recent scene flow paper illustrates how optimization based methods lag behind speed compared to learning based approaches. This observation spurred us to develop an algorithm that not only excels in accuracy, but also operates swiftly. In our research, we have crafted a self supervised optimization based scene flow estimation method that stands out as the fastest and the most accurate among its non learning counterparts. This breakthrough was achieved through key innovations such as integrated ego motion compensation, a locally correlated weight matrix, and adaptive distance threshold. Before delving into this, let's dive into the problem definition. We are given two sets of 3D point clouds representing a dynamic scene at two different times. The task is to compute the 3D motion vectors for each point in the source point cloud. We model the motion of each point in source point cloud using flow vectors F1 and F2, etc. And the collection of these points is called a flow field. A simplistic approach might use distance or chamfer loss to locate the nearest corresponding points. However, we have gone further as this alone won't be enough. Let's see how we can improve it. In real world scenarios, such as autonomous driving, the majority of data points are static. By integrated eco motion compensation, we can simplify the scene flow estimation process. This involves aligning input point cloud pairs and focusing on dynamic points. Standard data sets provide eco motion data, but its accuracy can be questionable. By incorporating a transformation function denoted as T into an optimization, we independently estimate the transformation alongside the flow vectors, transforming the current point cloud into the subsequent frame and minimizing distance errors. This changes our fit function and we get transformation T as a part of it. But how do we establish more accurate correspondences between our source and target point clouds? Typically, nearest neighbor loss would lead us to match each source point with its closest target counterpart. However, this approach has its pitfalls. For example, it might result in all source points converging on a single target point or in a degenerate solution when the nearest neighbor distance is zero. To circumvent these issues, we adopt a more nuanced strategy. Instead of relying on a single nearest point, we consider the k closest points for each source point in the target point cloud. We then assign weights to these k points based on their proximity to the respective source point. The closer a point is, the higher its weight. Conversely, more distant points receive lower weights. By taking a weighted average of these k points, we designate this average point as the corresponding point. This method not only yields superior results, but also accelerates the convergence in correspondence matching. This approach brings a transformative change to our fit function. Instead of focusing solely on the nearest point qi, we shift our attention to Q average, the weighted average point. In the initial application of the revised fit function, we encountered a significant hurdle. 
the prevalence of false positive flow values. Particularly in sparse point clouds, a system was erroneously matching points that were far apart, leading to inaccuracy. A breakthrough came with the implementation of a maximum distance threshold. The rule was simple. If a point fell within this threshold, we included it. If not, we excluded it. But we didn't stop there. We evolved the approach by dynamically adapting this threshold. As the flow estimation improved, we halved the threshold every n steps, refining our selection of points for correspondences in the target point cloud and focusing on those within a more immediate range. With these adjustments, our objective function underwent yet another transformation, which looks like this. However, we introduced an additional element to enhance the flow robustness. The rigidity constraint loss. This constraint ensures that seam flow vectors in close proximity to one another maintain as much rigidity as possible. It's a critical factor in preserving the structural integrity of the seam flow estimation. So with the rigidity constraint added, a final objective function takes shape. We engage in an optimization process over n steps and typically ranging around 100 to 500 steps, utilizing an Adam optimizer to minimize the objective. The flow values we derive at the conclusion of this process are our definitive seam flow vectors. Turning our attention to the quantitative results, a model demonstrates exceptional performance, particularly in comparison with other self-supervised and non-learning based methods, as tested on the kidney dataset. In this table, we compare our methods against the leading state-of-the-art seam flow estimation techniques for a 2048 point cloud setup. The results are clear. Our method achieves the lowest endpoint error and the highest accuracy. When we extend the evaluation to the full point cloud, our methods maintain its superiority, especially when benchmarked against non learning based methods. We didn't limit our testing to Kitty. Evaluations on other popular autonomous driving datasets, such as Argoverse and New Scenes, also placed our method at the forefront in terms of accuracy. In the critical balance of speed versus accuracy, our method outshines all other non-learning based methods, achieving faster speeds without sacrificing accuracy. In fact, when compared with the current best non-learning based method, the neural scene flow prior, our approach is seven times faster in processing a full point cloud while maintaining equal or better accuracy. To visually illustrate our findings, consider these scene flow images on the left. You see the ground truth scene flow and on the right are results. The color intensity indicates flow values and you can see the striking similarity between our results and the ground truth. Zooming in on a vehicle, the colors represent different timestamps with blue indicating a projected point cloud aligning perfectly with the target point cloud in green. We have additional visualizations demonstrating how our method accurately predicts flow vectors for each dynamic objects in a scene. Furthermore, a method can be employed to densify sparse point clouds. For instance, in this scene, a method not only densified the point cloud, but also successfully processed a walking pedestrian, a task that other scene flow methods struggle with. Another application of a method is in segmenting static versus dynamic points. Here, in this bird's eye view, we highlight how dynamic points are clustered and segmented. In the right, we can see a video sequence further illustrating this. Dynamic points distinctly marked in red. Thank you for your attention during this presentation. We invite you to delve deeper into our work by checking out our poster.